Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to another Never Survival series on the channel. Today it is just me. We didn't get time to film a massive episode today, so I thought I would use this time to run you through my Hoglin killing contraption, which is pretty foolproof, may I add. It is pretty sick, it's pretty awesome, so I'm going to be running you through how to make one today and how to use it and why it is the most efficient way of killing hoglins. I mean, if you guys think you've got another way of doing it, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear that. But anyway, guys, make sure to like and subscribe on the channel and hang around to see it. Uh, it is just me today, but oh well. But there we go. Let's crack on with it. So we are going to need a lava bucket. Here we go, we've got one lava bucket and that is literally all you need. I've got my gold armor on, so that is awesome. Uh, actually, I'll go grab some bricks because I will need to show you how to build it because uh, I have built a load around the area and uh, as people walk past my house, I'm regretting not shutting my window. All right, so we've got these and uh, let's go to uh, Neverwalk Forest, or Crimson Forest rather. Let's go over there and start setting one up or go visit one that's already been set up. So here it is, the kill box. So I've made it out of these magma blocks. It doesn't actually have to be made out of these magma blocks, but I just done it because you can clearly see where the box is. So if you're running away from the hoglins, it's gonna be fairly obvious and easy to spot. Uh, typically, we've got some uh, piglins in here chilling, so I'm just gonna kill them because they're in the way so we'll take them out and basically this is why so one two three four five six six by one two three four five uh box it's very simple it's got this little bottleneck here so they can't get too close to you uh it's nice i've got this gap here so if you put the lava there it runs down there and it doesn't flow into here and kill you so that's very important, so you need to dig down. This bit doesn't need to be here, but if you're getting chased and fall down into this, you're going to want an easy way to jump back up. And this is great as well, because if the baby hoglings come, they fall down into their boom, lava. So we will be showing you that now. Uh, let's go and see if we can find some now. That is the real task, They because they only respawn really when you're hanging around. If you're not hanging around this place, they sort of despawn. So that's why you can't really farm them, and that's why it's a bit of a nightmare. And also, if you do want to kill uh, piglins, lava. They don't get angry. They look, look. They just, they're, they're not too fast. Uh, so that's the best way to kill piglins without. I mean, they don't do their drops. They don't drop you anything. But it's the best way to kill them and to get rid of them if they're infesting your world or they're taking your pork chops, which is a thing they do, which is a very very annoying thing they do it's a big pain in the backside okay so there's none spawning around here i've set up a few of these kill boxes around the area um i haven't set one up over there yet but okay here we go here we go we got we got one here all right so you just got to lure them to the kill box you go around here boom jump in and he should hopefully go to the door place the lava there wait for him to burn take the lava away you're not using any swords or ruin the durability on your swords because we did do this box at first and we were hitting them with the swords it was a nightmare we were going through a heck of a ton of swords and the ideal thing with this as well is you're going to get cooked pork chops at the end of it hopefully uh if the if you don't burn it in the lava that is so you've got to watch for that you've got to time it just right come on okay here we go and one more day. okay did it oh typically that one didn't do it nice but that is the best way to get one so i'll see if i can lure any more over and give this another go but that is the best way to kill them guys that is the best way to get their drops as you saw it was no hassle and no risk to me at all okay so we've got some little ones over here we'll see if we can lure these over and uh take them out Okay, so we've got one on fire now. I'm hoping that's going to work. This should be good. Boom. There you go. Cooked pork chops. Oh, if you can get the jump. Boom. Smash that. And got a little one coming as well. So there you go. Can knock them in the lava. 
Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. This is the best way to get pork chops. So if you ever see us with loads of pork chops, this is literally the method we do. It doesn't take too long either. Uh, the annoying thing is these guys killing them. Oh, flipping heck. Okay. Oh gosh, I've got no run. I've got no hunger to run. Flipping heck, that arrow was extremely close. Okay, come on. Burn, burn. Give me a quick pork chop. Yeah, no. Oh, that is the annoying thing is they take them. Yep, yeah, but you know what? Can't complain too much because the lava will take them out. Nice. Go on, go on. Lava take take out. Yep, yeah, sick. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is a brief one today. Easy to do. Easy to set one of these up. I use the magma blocks. Nothing too much with it. It doesn't take too long. Just got to leave that gap there of one and then build around here like that, like that. Uh, it's not it's super simple. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have found this informative, easy to do. And let me know how you guys get on with creating these kill boxes is what I've called them. Oh gosh, we've got, this, oh, this, we've got a great example here. So we've got a load over there and we've got one coming here. So this is a great time to do it. So we're just holding there in the lava for a bit. Count to about three or four. And then take the lava away. And hopefully it will burn him uh, to just the right amount. So he'll die with cooked pork chops and won't run off. Boom. There you go. And cooked pork chops. Nice. All right. Might as well get these three over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come this way. Yes. Yeah, here we go. We've got a load coming now. All right. This is going to be sick. All right, come on, come on. De do a demo, guys. Come over here. Yep, all right. Flee free flipping big ones. Okay, boom. All right, we'll take that away now. Hopefully, that is going to do them some damage. And we're going to get a fair few pork chops from this. I have a good feeling about this one. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yep, yep, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's one down. Come on, come on. Yep, that's another. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So that's 17 pork chops, guys, in not too much time at all. That was easy. That is how it's done. As I said, let me know how you guys get on. And now we're going to use these pork chops to go on a little adventure. Next episode, we're hoping to go and find the end portal. So make sure to come back for that, guys. Make sure to subscribe, notification bell, like button. You don't want to miss out on this series or anything else I do on the channel. But anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.